welcome, Brianna Santoro here, founder of thenakedlabel.com where we undress the food you eat. And today, it's a special day because I'm gonna show you how you can make your own candy nuts. How awesome is that? I know that for me, when I go to restaurants and I see a salad with candy nuts on it, I get super excited. It's kind of like being a kid on Christmas morning. They taste delicious. But the issue is that oftentimes those candied nuts are made with ingredients we wanna stay far away from, like refined processed sugar, which is actually an anti-nutrient. It pulls nutrients from the body. So I wanted to show you how you can have candied nuts in your own home whenever you want and feel good about it because they're actually healthy for you. Now these are so easy, they only use two ingredients. The first one is we're gonna use half a cup of pecans. And the second one is we're gonna use one tablespoon of pure maple syrup. Now I'm not talking about that. This is real maple syrup. It's made from taking the sap out of a maple tree, boiling it down, and creating this ooey, gooey, delicious syrup that's rich in minerals but tastes sweet. So we're gonna head on over to the stove, turn our stove on medium heat, and get cooking. The first thing that we need to do is toast the pecans. So put them into your pan when it's heated up to medium heat, and you're just gonna wanna stir those around for a couple of minutes to toast them on both sides. Then pour in your one tablespoon of maple syrup. Mmm, -mm, these are smelling delicious. Stir that around quickly until all the pecans are coated, then turn off the heat. Now you just wanna let them sit for a couple of minutes so they can start to harden up a little bit. You can put them onto your salad right away. They're really delicious. But if you want to save them and use them later, then I recommend taking them out of the pan and letting them cool on top of some some wax paper. What this is gonna do is this is gonna make sure that they don't stick to the pan because they will start to get sticky as they cool. Now, again, if you wanna save these for a later date, because I recommend you know making a bunch and keeping them in the fridge, what you can do is take a glass jar. Now, with your finger, just move a little bit of coconut oil or a little bit of flaxseed oil around on the inside of the jar. This is gonna help to make sure the nuts don't actually stick to the sides. Put the nuts in, seal it up, and put it in your fridge. Now it is ready to go whenever you want that delicious taste of candied nuts. Now one tip I've got for you is a cleaning tip. If you have let your frying pan sit for just a little bit too long and you found that the maple syrup has started to stick to it, just soak it for a couple of minutes in warm or hot water and that's gonna help to release that maple syrup from the pan and make it really easy to clean. So there you have it, candied nuts using only two ingredients. Thank you so much for watching and I'm really excited to see you in the next video. Plus, if you want more videos like this one, definitely check me out at thenakedlabel.com. We'll see you later, bye-bye.